Hello everyone, this is the Zero Man, and we are starting up a brand new playthrough. And I'm going to start with a game I really haven't thought about in a while, or remembered about, or played in a very, very long time. So for those of you who don't know, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. Now, let us begin. And hopefully don't just... Ah, there we go. Zero! Ah! So, for those of you who don't know, this is basically a game where you build crazy, crazy things. A lot of these ships you see here are not built by me. They were built by uh, the devs of the game itself. But the Kerbal Mercury 1 is what we are going to be building today. <clears throat> now what we're doing is basically running a very similar program to that of NASA, which is Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. Now for those of you who don't know space history, Mercury was... these little guys are directing traffic down here I guess? But Mercury was basically orbiting missions around our planet. Apollo not Apollo, Gemini was basic stuff for the Apollo missions, and then the Apollo missions were going to the moon. So as you can see, this gigantically insane rocket will help us get orbiting around our fair planet Kerbal. Or at least I hope so. It's been fairly tested. I have had some interesting moments where all the engines have flown outwards and destroyed each other, but hopefully that shouldn't happen. And hopefully this should be our first successful rocket. And so let's get the SAS, which gives us a little bit of stability. <clears throat> let's get our engines up to about 95%. And Bill, you're about to go for the ride of your life, buddy. In five, four, three, two, one. Godspeed, Bill! Godspeed! Come on! Come on! Oh, it's wobbling a little bit. Oh! Oh, is it gonna go? It's a lot of weight on those three engines. It's a lot of weight. We're already into stage. Oh. Come on, little rocket. We can do this. We can do this. I believe in you! <coughs> Come on, Bill! You will be the first Kerbal to circle this planet! So if you guys haven't seen, this is possibly one of the craziest built rockets constructed with faith and, I'm guessing, duct tape. The rocket motors are deafening me. I have the sound on maybe 10% for rockets. And all I hear is in my ear, so. Now, as so you can hear, you can also hear the motors hitting the ground below us. We have a fairly straight path. On to the last three. Last three stages before our orbiting stage, which is going to be a special type of rocket. But if you can't tell, these are all solid rocket motors. Getting really close to it is a bad idea because it increases the sound levels. But Bill here is probably going to make it into orbit. I say probably, it's highly likely. Um, before I started filming this, I just wanted to see like a little bit of a run, and I accidentally got my little man out of Kerbal orbit here, which was a little bit horrifying. 
there was no way whatsoever I could get him back into orbit, and he was just kind of free floating around forever around the sun. So that wasn't so good. Oh, we're about to go into the last three motors here, and jettison and fire. This is the last three motors of our rocket. We are 16,000 feet in climbing. We could always abort the mission, but we are not going to because we will make it. This is guaranteed to go around Kerbal. We are burning out of fuel really quickly. Holy crap. We might overheat. I highly doubt it, though. Uh, yeah, we'll burn out before we overheat, which is perfectly fine by me. <clears throat> burn out and fire the nuclear... This is actually a nuclear rocket engine, as you can tell by the little nuclear symbol. And as you can see, we are going down in speed, but that is perfectly fine. We actually need to tap it up a little bit, because this isn't going to overheat as easily as the solid rocket motors do. And we shall continue up until we reach 150,000 feet. From 150,000 feet, we are going to start trying to make a nice little orbit around Kerbal. As you can see, looks like South America and North America kind of had a baby here. You have your tiny little Africa, you have like a Spain-ish kind of looking spot. Yeah, it's a very Earth-like planet. But as you can see, we are slowly rising. Get back to our rocket. We are at 110,000 feet. At 150,000, I will kick it over and start... Oh, not what I intended. Kick it over and try doing little bits of an orbit. We are slowing down still, <clears throat> but we're almost leveled out. Once we start angling it over, we should be leveled out entirely. But yeah, we are actually going to try orbiting a bit. This first episode is going to be us just orbiting. Okay, we kick off SAS. Just lean it. Just lean it. Lean. Oh, okay. SAS. Is it going to be fine? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yep. Get the nuclear rocket engine back up. So, basically, with this very first mission, we're going to get an orbit around Kerbal. And from this orbit around Kerbal, we're going to try and push it further. So we have like an orbit out here by the moon, and from there we're going to try and push it further. So we have, say, an orbit way out here by Jewel, and then we'll push it further to where we have like one over here by Elo, and then we'll push one to where it goes even beyond the solar system, and that shall be the furthest Mercury build we have. But as for right now, we should be satisfied with just trying to get around Kerbal. We have debris still falling in, a nice little arc, slowly losing energy. But yeah, we are still above a thousand meters a second. We have a tiny bit of overheat, but nothing to worry about. We are 230,000 and climbing. <clears throat> We're still pulling a pretty decent amount of G's. Bill is freaking out. Oh, poor Bill. Oh, we're gaining a little bit, we're gaining a tiny bit of speed. We're gaining a tiny bit of speed. Excellent, we're gaining speed. Oh, as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of an extended arc here. We're at 333,000 and growing. What I'm hoping to do is get entirely around. That might take a while, though, because it is a nuclear engine. And nuclear engines are some of the least powerful engines in this game, but they are the most efficient. As you can tell, I have three fuel... I have actually, no, only two fuel tanks here, and I am still... Yes, I still have most of my fuel. I still have, like, two-thirds of my fuel, over, way over two-thirds of my fuel left. If you could see, I'm only using, like, 0.64 and 0.78 a second. So I'm literally using no fuel whatsoever. <clears throat> but yeah, the next few episodes of this game, we're just going to try and build bigger and bigger rockets. We're going to try and get massive, massive orbits. 
I know this rocket is very capable of escaping Kerbal, so I might try using this rocket again and just pushing beyond the boundaries of Kerbal itself. We will just see, I might just build one completely from scratch again. But yeah, we will continue Mercury class rockets for a while, just orbiting around the sun, orbiting beyond the sun, trying to see if we can even escape the sun's gravity, which I highly doubt. This game will probably either limit me, or the sun's gravity will just extend forever throughout the game, which is fully possible. But as it stands, we're just going to try to do a whole bunch of orbiting, and once we get to... I, once we get all of what I want done done, we'll start the Gemini style missions, which is docking, maneuvering, uh, doing fairly complex things in space. We'll probably put up an international space station, uh, a place where we could dock all of our rockets, start building rockets that we can use to dock. And then from there, I think we'll go to the moon and we will explore it. And from the moon, <clears throat> we shall continue on to some of the further planet. From the moon, we'll continue on to some of the further planets. We'll probably go to Eve or Duna. Probably Duna because Eve has a really heavy atmosphere. We'll probably get like a Mercury down here by by uh, Moho at some point. Let's zoom in, and we are extremely close to an orbit. We almost have an orbit. Very close. As you can see, our rocket's still gaining speed. We're almost up to 2,000, which is fairly impressive speed. <clears throat> we are at 375,000 feet. We are approaching 2,000 meters a second. This rocket is fully capable of just straight up escaping Kerbal. And it's quite scary. I have to be very careful or I will push beyond that of Kerbal's borders. And we have done it, people. We have an orbit. So, as you can see now, our orbit is extending out. I'm probably going to go back in and cut the motors. And we'll just drift for a while. Zoom out. What I'm probably going to do is come out here to the Apoasis and fire rockets try to get circularized. So let's try and get around to the Apoasis. Zip, 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 zoom. Uh, we are very close to the Apoasis. And stop. Apoasis is two minutes away. Oh, I can barely see this thing. I need to somehow recurve it around. Yeah, we need... I believe this is... The, which direction are we traveling? Is it this way? Oh, probably helps... It. No, RCS off. There we go. Which way are we traveling here? Okay, yeah, we're traveling right where that yellow little dot is. That's the direction we're traveling. So if I can get it angled there... Yeah, bang! SAS. Okay, we power on our motor. We should be increasing our speed. Which should be increasing our apoasis as well as increasing our peri periapsis. There we go. English, it eludes me. Yeah, but we're still increasing as uh, apoasis. We have plenty of fuel. We lost a little bit of speed coming around. Bill is freaking out. He's bouncing all over the rocket. We have the nice, beautiful sun in the background. We have the moon over there. If you can see the moons over there, we are 1,247 kilometers above Kerbal. The Mercury one. 
if you see, we are trying to get the Apoasis spread out more this way. So we have a very large, powerful orbit. It's a very strange, curved orbit. This is kind of what my first one was, but we shall kill the motors. Ah, beautiful. Okay, we, our orbit goes fairly far down. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Ah, that's quite beautiful. It's a fairly large orbit. Ooh. Okay, we should be nearing Apoasis very soon. I'm trying to circularize this. I really am. Oh, 18 minutes. Okay. Well, I could leave it zoomed out so I could see the Apoasis. Oh, uh, we're very close to our direction of travel. We've slowed down considerably, though, which is a little bad. But that's okay, because we could just do that. And fire on our engine. Oh, am I going... Am I slowing us down? Oh, crap, I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Flip this puppy around. Oh, that was bad. Oh, crap. Oh. 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 No, no, no. No. Stop. 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 This thing's a little hard to handle, and it's a little bit rotated weird. And funny. Oh. 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 This should be right. This should be about right to extend the Apoasis. Ah, we are. Beautiful. So we should be extending it out here to about... Meh. We're at getting up to 5.5 .5 million. I say we get this up to about mm, close to 3 million. The moon is 11 million away. So we get this 3 million... Uh, let's get this about 5 million as well, because that's 5 million. Wait till they swap. Five, that's 6 million. That's getting to be 6 million as well. Oh, yep. And we've pretty much circularized. Bill's still freaking out. Poor Bill. As you can see, we have... It's not a perfect circle. It's an oval, but it's more circular than it was. So we have a fairly expansive, nice little orbit going on here. Ah! In our Kerbal Mercury 1. So I think this is a very successful test of our rockets so far. <laughs> Four hours have traveled in-game, which actually isn't quite that long, to be honest. But yeah, next time we'll try... We'll probably try pushing this one further, maybe? We still have plenty of fuel, so we'll probably try pushing Bill here, yeah, here further, out past the moon, past even Kerbal, even, and I might show you another rocket if we have time. But for now... His name's Bill. This is the Kerbal Mercury one. This is Kerbal Space Program, I am the Zero Man, and I will see you all next time.